Hey, I'm Jamie O'Banion, founder and CEO of Beauty Bio, and I am so excited to personally welcome you into our Glow Community. So thrilled that you now have your Glow Facial tool, and I know the tools can be intimidating, so I'm gonna make this so simple for you that you will be the expert from home. First, it's all about charging your tool so it can have its own glow. So you'll take your cable, which comes included, unwrap it, and I like to turn the unit upside down on the base so I can really make sure that the cable is lodged all the way in. If you don't put the cable all the way in, you will not get a full charge. Then the other end will plug into a charging block into the wall. Then you'll wanna make sure that the nodes on the back of the tool and on the base line up to get a proper charge. So if you don't put your base back on the tool and you put it in the cradle, it can get all kinds of wonky and also not charge. So you wanna make sure that it nests perfectly in the base. You'll see a visual cue on the tool to let you know where it's at in terms of battery. So you'll see here the green light is blinking. That means that the tool is not fully charged. It's in the process of charging. It takes about two and a half hours to fully charge your tool. And when the tool is fully charged, it will be a solid green light on your tool. You'll know that it's ready to glow and it will last you, you'll love this, for about a month. That's almost 40 uses or so of your tool. So you're not having to charge it after every single treatment, which I love as a busy mama. And just so you know, when your tool is out of charge, it will blink red and you know that that's your cue to put it back on the charger. All right, let's talk about how to use your tool for the very first time. There's a button here. You're going to do a long press on the button for about two seconds to turn it on and off like this. So turning it on, blue light comes on. I know I'm ready to get going. Press a short press for low mode. Again, for medium, another short press for high, so there's low, medium, and high. You can personalize your treatment, and then you'll hold it again with a long press to turn it off, just like that. Then you'll slide the base off and fill the chamber with concentrate, then water, to get glowing for your first treatment. And I'm gonna give you a pro tip that's really helpful. Turn your tool on, then you're gonna press short press for low mode, and then I want you to glide it on the inside of your palm, just like this, until you hear this that yummy slurping sound. Then you know that the concentrate is at the tip, which will help everything glide smoother on your skin. Remember, there's no extra credit for pressing hard, just like there isn't when you're vacuuming, you're gonna glide it on your skin. You'll pull your skin taut, and then just glide your tool like this. The entire treatment should take about four and a half minutes. Another pro tip, I recommend starting with the small narrow tip. Both come included. There's a little note on top. You'll just push it off really easily, put that narrow tip on top, and that's a little easier to control for your very first time. It's the exact same process. Turn it on, low, medium, or high. You'll prime it and then get going. Now, let's talk about beeping. You just heard the beep. What does that mean? You're gonna get a lot of beeps your very first time because you're not sure what you're doing and that's okay. So every time you hear a beep, boop, that just means adjust your angle to regain contact with the skin. Try to think about keeping the bottom of the tool facing towards the ground, right? So you'll pull the skin taut, whether it's your nose, your cheek, and instead of going like this so you don't flood your motor, you're gonna make sure you keep it right side, even on your forehead, always keeping that base pointed towards the ground. All right, let's talk waist chamber, because that's the fun step, what's inside your chamber. It tells you what's going on in your skin. It's okay to have different chambers on different days. I use my tool twice a week, Sunday night and Thursday night, and let me tell you, Every single time, it's different. I'm still getting all of the beautiful benefits of the tool, the concentrate, every single time I use it, but it's okay for your waist chamber to vary. If it's really clear, fantastic. Don't be surprised on your next treatment. If it doesn't look as clear, that might be excess oil on the skin. You might look at it and have lots of little floaties going around, that's dirt and debris, if you spend a lot of time outdoors, perhaps. Sometimes you'll find kind of an orangey color. That's usually makeup that is settled into the pores. Even after you've not been wearing makeup for a couple of days, I've had that experience before. So it's okay for it to vary depending upon what's going on in your life. And it's kind of a nice gauge to see what's happening with your skin because we wanna keep it beautiful, we wanna keep it glowing, and it's so, so easy to do. You'll find the texture is fantastic after every single treatment. I hope these pro tips were helpful. I can't wait to see your glowing skin and let us know if you have any questions at all. We're always here to make sure that you have everything you need.